Okay, I think this is recording. Hey, everybody. I sincerely apologize. This is like a day later than I really wanted to get this video out there, but this week has been crazy, and I'm sure you can relate to those weeks that just aren't going right. So I do apologize, but I have some really fun stuff for you today. I'm going to show you how to make your dream board and um, a new um, website you're probably going to become obsessed with. I know I am. Um, and I just got done working out. Sorry, but like I said, I wanted to get this out to you. So, okay, we are at Pick Monkey. So here's the web address right there. PickMonkey.com, P-I-C-M-O-N-K-E-Y.com, PickMonkey.com. So go there. You are going to need to create an account. It's free, but you do have to log in. So... That would be step one is to go ahead and create an account with PicMonkey. Once you do that, there are so many fun things you can do with PicMonkey. I'm excited for you to get to know this website. Um, you can edit your pictures. So you could add like filters or do like touch-ups, um, add fun graphics to them, all kinds of things. And you can also create collages with your pictures um, and things like that. But I'm going to show you just how to create um, our dream board. So we're going to be using this design button. Um, right now, let me think. You need to be on a computer. There is an app for PicMonkey. Um, it's new, and I actually haven't created something from scratch. Maybe I will jump off after this and see if it works the same way now on mobile. It's new, and it wasn't working the same as the website at first, but they could have changed it. So for now, this needs to be on your desktop or your laptop. Okay. Um, so you're going to hover over the design. I'm not even clicking. I'm just hovering. And you see these other um, options come up down at the bottom. So I'm going to do blank canvas. And let's just go with, uh, you can choose whatever you want. I'm just going to go with 8 by 10 because that seems like if you wanted to print this, that's a good size to print. So here you have it. You just have a totally blank canvas for you to get started. So we have to think about for our dream board, we want it to be really visual and pretty and, um, you know, represent really what your goals and dreams are, your big ones and your small ones. I want to see them all. So what does that mean? You need to have some images to go along with your goals, okay? So that would be step number two, <laughs> is to just Google image some pictures of things that you like. So if like on your dream board, let's say it's like a vacation to Hawaii or something, right? Like I might Google and find a picture that really resonates with me that represents Hawaii. Um, if you have a goal to, um, I don't know, what do you want? A new house, you know, find a picture of that house or a car. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, so you're going to find images that correlate with your goals. Because right now it's just blank, right? Okay, so um, when you log in and you choose the uh, blank template under that design tab, you're going to automatically just come to canvas color. I'm going to personally leave mine white, but look at all these different colors that you can do. You can play around with it, whatever suits you. Um, and you just click apply and you're going to get rid of that. <clears throat> So right now we're on this basic edits tab. And we're not gonna do anything with this tab right at the moment. There's tons of different um, filters and things you can do with um, this editing program. But for now, we're gonna stick to just kind of starting to piece together our board. So we're gonna come down to this butterfly. That's called overlays. This is where you're actually gonna start putting the pictures onto your paper. So I'm going to click overlays. Now there are a whole bunch of overlays that already come with PicMonkey. So they're shapes, um, different, where they go, hearts, icons, critters, there's like floral things, um, banners, all kinds of things. But they're pretty generic, right? So they're not going to necessarily correlate with what your goals are. So you need to add your own. You see this button? So this is why you needed to already have saved pictures to your computer to now add to our vision board. So when you click on add your own, you are going to come to your own computer. 
right, wherever you have saved your items. So I know um, on my vision board for 2016, I wanted to pay off my truck, which I did. So I have um, a picture of my, my car. I know I want to pay that off. Um, I'm going to add some more. One thing I know that I want, sorry, I should have organized these better. And then um, one of my big goals, one of my big dreams is I want like a lake cabin or a beach house somewhere near the water, a cabin feel though that's really super homey and sweet um, that I can take my family and get away to. So I know I have, um, this just kind of represented that feel for me. It's like a little cottage and it's got a big deck. I love to be outside. So that represents me and some of my goals. I feel like I'm at the weirdest angle because I'm standing. <laughs> um, so let's just add a few more here. I just want you to get the idea how you're just going in to wherever you saved um, your pictures and just adding pictures. I want to be able to say yes to adventures with my girls. I don't know if you can see, but this is like a mom with a girl in a carrier on her back, again at the beach love the beach um, but it says say yes to adventures I just want to be able to get up and go when we want to have an adventure somewhere um, I know I had some down here at the bottom I definitely should have organized these better I thought they would come up in order um, but I think you get the idea of what you're adding Here's vacation time. Can you see a theme? Welcome to paradise. It's vacation time. <laughs> Can you see a theme with mine right now? Okay. Yours might be a little more well-rounded. I'm just kind of going by the seat of my pants here. Um, <laughs> what else do I have? Um, but I do love to go on vacation. Um, I know I wanted to um, like nourish my family with super healthy food. That's really good for us. And I'm continually learning about that. And I want to, you know, go be able to buy whatever food I want, if it's organic, if it's whatever it is at the grocery store without worrying. Maybe you can relate to that. I don't know. Um, and let's see if I can just snag one more real quick. And then we'll be on our way to the next step. Um, boop, boop, boop. No, I had another one. Um, well, that's okay if I can't find it. I think you get the idea, but I am kind of bummed. <laughs> oh, there it is. Patrick. Okay. More self-care for me in 2017. Started in 16 um, on a smaller scale, you know. When you're starting this, right, you, you start where you can. You start where you are, and you start to see how you start meeting these dreams and goals, and you really can start growing them even bigger and bigger, but you start small. So I wanted to focus on me some more in 2016, and I did that. So it wasn't like extra spa days right now, but it was little things like maybe extra baths at home with wine and candles and some really nice, luxurious bubble bath. Um, maybe it was like painting my nails or getting a manicure, um, things like that. So I started small, but for 2017, I'm blowing it up. You know, I want to go get a couple massages, um, maybe, I don't know, a facial here and there. So I'm going to amp it up in 2017. So spa treatments is definitely on my list. Um, so, and then, you know, for 2016, I definitely had some business goals on my vision board. So if you have some goals at work, like you want to advance, um, get a promotion, get a raise, you know, you might, you might want to identify that on your vision board too, or get a new job, whatever it is, start your own business. You know, put on your board what you're really feeling. Okay, so here we have, I have some pictures. This represents some of my goals and dreams. I wanna see six to 10 pictures on your vision board, right? Um, some can be personal, some can be business, like I said, um, job related, some can be family. Um, like, I know I had like date nights or like family days, um, things like that. So whatever represents you. And now like, let's add some text to this. So we added our pictures. We're, again, we're in that overlay tab that butterfly and I've been adding my own but now we're going to add some text pretty straightforward here's the T I want to mention you might see some crowns on some of the sections that is for premium members so you can buy a membership to pick monkey and get extra 
text, extra pictures, things like that, um, but you don't have to pay. So things that don't have a crown are definitely free. So you might add some text. So you click on the font that you want, and then you click add text, and here it is. And when I add that, you saw this box pop up, and that is how I can change the color of my text, the size, all kinds of things. So I'm gonna say like dream board, right? Just call it a dream board for now. Um, and maybe I want to add, um, I want to make it a little bit prettier. So I'm going to go back to my overlays and add my own. Um, I love making things really pretty. So on, um, you can Google this again, but on Etsy, I found some of these like colorful swooshes that I really dig. So I'm going to add one of those in. But um, you can Google like shapes or colors, you know, whatever, whatever you want. And now, uh-oh, I did this backwards because I did my text first and this overlay second. So now the overlay is going over the text, which doesn't help me. You can't read it. But if I right click on that pink swoosh, I can say send backward. And there it goes. Okay. So now my text is in front. I kind of want to change the size of my text. So, um... Do you see this white box around your text? You can also um, expand it. I'm gonna center my text. I'm kind of weird about that. So I'm over here in this tool and I'm going to make it bigger. So I just drag this dot or I could type in a number if I wanted to, okay? So there's my text. That looks good. I can position it. Um, and then maybe I want to add my name. So I'm going to come back here. I'm going to click the font that I want. And I'm going to click Add Text. And there's my box. So maybe this says um, Becky's Dream Board. Okay. Okay. Coming together. I could change that color. Maybe I want it to be like a darker kind of pink. And I want it to be bold. Okay. So you play with it however you want. Now, um, do you want to add any other text? Feel free. Maybe I want to, um, maybe I want to label some of my pictures. So maybe I want like self-care, self-care. Or maybe I want to just say like more massages. <laughs> but whatever you want to say, I'm going to um, make it smaller. Okay, and I'm just going to position it. I'm going to do it. Of on it, self-care. Kind of explain a little bit what it is, add text, um, family vacations. Oops. Sometimes you have to highlight it to make it smaller. Okay, a little bit smaller. And here we go, family vacations. Now you see how this bar, I'm gonna move this editing thing how this box is way over here. I could squish it in. Um, if you squish it too small, you see how it went to the next line because it's trying to fit that box. So you do want to make sure your box is big enough to fit whatever, however you want, or make the text smaller. And then I'm going to center it. Okay. Um, what else do I, I could say pay off my car. I could say, you know, you could label these however you want to label them. Now let's say you want to make it even prettier. Go back to these overlays and here's all those shapes. So maybe I want to add, um, maybe I want to add, I thought there was like some pretty flowers or something. I don't know, that doesn't really go with my board, but maybe it goes with yours. <laughs> but I just want you to see, you can add um, graphics. You don't have to, let me make sure that wasn't a premium one. I hope that one's available. Um, again, these crown means premium member, but there's a lot you can add that's not, um, not premium. So you see how that works? And I can change the color if I wanted to. Um, this dropper is pretty cool. If you want to match a color, you click on the dropper. And then if I click on, um, maybe I want it to be like this teal or green. 
you can change the color, okay? Let's say I'm like, oh, I'm not really feeling that. I can click on it and just delete it and it goes away. So feel free to play, like don't, you're not locked in to anything once you add it. Um, so yeah, there's tons of ways you can play around with this. Maybe, um, maybe you know, you don't have these swooshes like I have, but you still wanna add something um, to write on. Here's these banners. You can make a banner, and maybe I put that there, and I add um, 2017. This is my board for 2017. Let me make that a little bit smaller. Put it on there, and then make it white. Like this June board, 2017. So you just see how fun that is, how it's coming together? Guys, the sky is the limit. You can do whatever you want, however you want to make it. I'll go ahead and post my 2016 one. Um, it actually wasn't for the whole year. Um, I did it a few months ago. And um, so it was just kind of like some of my goals for the rest of 2016 and some big goals like my beach house and all that. And this little girl decided she wanted to come join in the party. Can you say, hey, vision party? Hey, vision board. <laughs> so that's basically, I'm going to keep this one a little bit short to give you an idea just of how to get started. So you need to make your PicMonkey account, find some pictures, um, and save them to your computer that represent your goals, and then come back, use this butterfly, this is the overlay, that's how you're going to add your own, that's how you're going to add the pictures that you saved, add some text to it get creative, have fun. There's also these cool back, backdrops. Um, so if I go to this texture, um, I can do like, this is kind of fun, boards. Now my computer's gonna be slow, of course, right? Let's see if it works. <laughs> okay, here, so maybe I want like a corkboard background. Come on. There we go. See how it changed the whole board? So play around. Have some fun. There's a blackboard, all that. Okay, so I am going to jump off. Please post any questions you have. I'm happy to walk through any of the steps again, share any other tips I have. There's lots more you can do with PicMonkey, but I want you to get started. And here's the thing. It is... Um, I want you to take, I'm trying to think of what day, make, take the next three days to make your board. And by Monday, I expect you to start sharing them. Monday, Tuesday, I wanna see your boards, I want you to share them. We're all here to help each other, to get that energy behind your goals and dreams because once you share them, you're that much closer to actually achieving them. So get ready to share them, have some fun, you can post them as you're making them if you want some tips or some advice or whatever you want on it. So get going. I'm so excited to see your boards. I can't wait. So thanks for hanging out and good luck. Have fun.